Arcade emulation in their Mac OS has not always been the greatest, and that's because there hasn't been a great official port of MAME, Multi-Arcade Machine Emulator. I hope I said that right because I don't have internet right now to check on that acronym. That aside, MAME is the main way everyone emulates arcade games because it supports over 7,000 different games and 10,000 different ones if you count all the variants. So it's absolutely massive and it's really impressive. There's two main ways that you can use MAME today. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through the two ways to get MAME up and running under Mac OS with a very close to most recent version of MAME. I will also in this video demonstrate how to run the Apple Silicon version as well. Quick disclaimer, emulation exists in a legally gray area. Please don't ask me for any of the game files as those are copyrighted. For all the other software discussed in this video, check the description as they'll have the links. Now that we got that out of the way. Whether you're in London or Portland, it's a fantastic day in Oregon. I'm your all-important host, Greg, repping D-Mug, Definitive Mac Upgrade Guide, always with the best beats and brews on YouTube. First, let's start with the easier route. OpenEMU is a multi-console emulator, meaning that it supports a wide variety of retro game consoles. For those in the know, it's a lot like RetroArch, as it's a core-based emulator, but it's just a lot more pleasant to use. Let's go to the OpenEMU webpage and download the experimental version. This is key because this is the version that has MAME. MAME stands for Multi-Arcade Machine Emulator, and it's absolutely massive at this point in time. It supports over 7,000 unique different arcade games and over 10,000 actual ROM sets, so it's big. If you try and launch the application on Apple Silicon, you'll probably get this error. Fear not, this is something that we can easily circumvent. Right click it and click open. Now you'll be able to execute the unsigned code. Next it will ask for input monitoring permission. This is fine because it needs this for gaming. Once you are done with granting the permissions, it's now time to go to the open MU preferences. Click cores, locate MAME, and then click the gray install text. The cores are actually the emulators. Many of these can be downloaded and installed as separate applications under Mac OS. This should not take terribly long to install. Now you're ready to install arcade games. MAME is a little different than most emulators since it requires specific file names and it expects the games to be in .zip format. So don't rename the games and don't decompress them. If for some reason the game came in a different format other than .zip, you'll need to uncompress the file and then re-zip it. Select Arcade from the left hand side, and now you're ready to drag your ROMs in. Now you can launch the game as you would any other game. Since these are arcade games, you'll have to insert coins or change the dip switches, which are settings in the game. In the OpenMU preferences, you can change all your input settings. Now what's really great here is this uses the latest version of MAME. MAME games can be kind of tricky because sometimes they have dependencies. When I try and launch this particular game, you'll notice it gives me an error. The error tells me what exact zip file I need to download. So I can just search this and download it. I drag my missing file into MAME and now I can run the game. For years, OpenMU used to be stuck on a very old version from 2013. This meant that it was missing support for a lot of more modern games. The game I have fired up right now, Virtua Fighter 2, was not supported under the old version of MAME. MAME also supports Neo Geo games. Installing a Neo Geo game is just about the same process as installing any other arcade systems game. However, you need one key component, because if you don't, you'll get this error. The error code tells us everything we need to know, which is that we're missing the Neo Geo.zip. This is the Neo Geo's firmware. Installing the firmware is the same process as installing any arcade game. Just drag the ROM file into the library. OpenMU is just not smart enough to filter this file out, so just ignore it. The new version of MAME seems to be way more particular about the Neo Geo's firmware. 
That means most firmwares you download probably won't work with it. It took me quite a while to track down the proper version that works with the newest MAME. Once you have the correct version of the Neo Geo firmware, you can launch games. And there are a lot of classic games for the Neo Geo as well. OpenMU is not Apple Silicon native, but it runs fine. OpenMU does not always have the latest version of the main core, at least historically speaking. That seems to have changed, but it's still not Apple Silicon native. So if you'd like to run the Apple Silicon native version or the latest version on Intel Macs, you need to get SDL MAME. SDL MAME's front end is just not the presentation of OpenMU, so it's going to look a little rough for some people, but it works great. First, you need to download SDL2 from libsdl.org. SDL2 is a library for cross-platform development designed to provide low-level access to hardware, such as I.O. and graphics cards. Many Steam games are based on this library when they're ported to Mac OS. After you have downloaded the SDL2 framework, you need to install it into library slash frameworks. Now it's time to download SDL MAME. I'm going to download the Apple Silicon version as I'm on my M1 right now. If you're on an Intel Mac, download the Intel version. This application is actually a command line run application. First, we are going to right-click open the MAME executable to whitelist it for Mac OS Big Sur. The program will fail to execute, which is fine, so you can ignore this or close this terminal window. Next, we're going to open up the Mac OS terminal. For my terminal-savvy users, you can tune out just for a second. But for my non-terminal users, first we're going to type cd, followed by a space, aka change directory, this is the command that will allow you to navigate to a different folder on your computer. Then we will drag the folder that contains SDL MAME onto the terminal window. Then hit return to enter the command. All this does is save us time from trying to manually type out where this is on our computer. Now that we're in the correct folder, we can execute MAME. So type dot forward slash MAME. And we will see this not very beautiful UI. By default, it hasn't filtered out what games we have. It looks like we have games already installed, but we do not. You need to use the UI, you can use your mouse, and check available. As you can see, I don't have any ROMs installed, so it's time to install some ROMs. To exit the program, hit escape. I'm going to use the same ROMs I was using in OpenMU and move them into SDL MAME. As expected, they go into the ROMs folder. Now it's time to launch the application yet again. Now I have some ROMs listed. I'll double click one to play one. Just like OpenMU, I had to install the relevant dependencies, in this case, the Neo Geo firmware, in order to run this title since it is a Neo Geo game. Now that I'm here, I don't know the controls for this thing, so I'm just banging on some keys. Well, fortunately, you can configure this using the UI. Click Configure Options. Configuring the controls is a matter of using device mapping and, of course, the general inputs. Hopefully this is enough to get you started with SDL MAME. I don't know the current trajectory for OpenMU. Maybe they'll keep their core up to date, which would be awesome, but if not, you can always use this version. As of recording this, SDL MAME and OpenMU are both using the current version of MAME that was released in August 2021. Even if OpenMU isn't running the latest and greatest MAME, this is a significant upgrade from what we had before. Most users won't be that concerned about what version of MAME they're running. Hell, even I'm not that concerned. MAME updates of course include bug fixes and also expanded support for new chipsets and games. Considering MAME is almost 25 years old now, most of the big titles that you're probably thinking of are supported. Now that I covered the basics, I think this is a good place to wrap this video up. I'm sure there's another way of running MAME under Mac OS that I'm not aware of, but these are the two methods that I've used for years. I hope you found this video useful. Hey, thanks for watching.